today's tutorial uh, will be looking on one of the topic which which pretty amazed me a lot so basically i was scrolling through the linkedin uh, linkedin and i came across the post from vinayak belgaukar okay he is one of our service now member uh, and he shared some insights on one of the client script objects okay which pretty amazed me out so i will i will share it with you okay so for example if we go to let's go to this user dot list and if i open any record so let's take the example of able tutor okay now it's not with respect to the user table okay it's with respect to the checkbox which you can see the boolean boxes right this check boxes so if you are performing certain action on this particular action on the boolean operation if active is true or active is false and performing certain action okay so you should be cautious about uh this particular this particular thing which i am trying to share with you so i'll be using java script executor so for example if i want to print this out in the client the client script okay let's let's try to define certain logic so i will not go and write some client script so i will use uh browser levels java script executor for the same so if if you are not aware how to get that so it's available with all the browsers and the the shortcut for it is like control shift alt and g if you click all of this together okay so it will give this executor so what this executor would does it works on client side okay on a browser level and you can define your logic on top of it so let's not waste our time in this and let so for example uh, i want to print a value for active so i will give alert and i will I'll just zoom out a bit. It's gone too much. Okay, and if I want to, first of all, let's see how exactly. If I type, you can type anything. It works just like uh, usual kind of case. If I type hello in the alert, alert, and if I run my code, it will give the alert of hello. so it just work as usual the javascript only okay, okay so if i want to do g underscore form dot get value of active so my expectation is like i should get true because currently it's it's checked so if i run it out let's see what i got true so you will say okay it's matching our expectation but we are expecting the output in a boolean format right okay because we want to define some operation on the boolean if it's true then what okay this kind of logic let's check the type of also of this okay say if i do you must be knowing how to check type of certain attributes so if i go with type of of g underscore form dot get value of active so ideally it should return boolean because it's a boolean field right If I run my code, it gives string. Amazing, right? Okay. So basically, it's not giving uh, your boolean output. It's giving you a string output. So and whenever it gives you a string output, when if you want to define certain logic, so you have to compare it with the string. So you have to give like if this particular thing, whatever I'll give, is equal to equal to. through the string now if you want now the things must be coming in your mind okay how i can get how can i extract the boolean value when there is a check box on my form so there is a function in in service now which is called as get boolean i will i will not let not i will just copy this out and we'll give one more alert and the function name is get instead get value you have to type boolean value okay of active and this particular syntax will give you a boolean output you don't trust me first of all let's see what if it's giving the proper output or not so if i comment this out 
if I remove this typo, it will add and run. It's also giving true, right? So both both of them are giving true. Now let's remove the alert out, and I will add typo over here. And now I will run my code. So with the first logic get value, it returns a string, which is not a desirable output for us. Okay. So let's look into get boolean value. And if we go with the get boolean value function, it gives us the boolean. Pretty amazing, right? I have never heard about this function, but uh, thanks to the post I got from Vinayak, I I I got to know this. Okay. And uh, it's a lot. It may lead to a lot of issues, okay, while you are using get values to valid to run some logics around boolean logic around any any client script, right? So just be aware when you are defining any logic for checkboxes, okay? So this is all for today's video. Hope you like it out, okay? Please like follow uh, to my channel to get this kind of videos in the future also. If you have any queries, just drop a comment and probably I will try to create a video on the same. Until then, stay safe, stay happy and have a nice day. Thank you.